for all long term uh, conditions you know even for hypertension uh, all chronic conditions you know diabetes do require patient education and self management skills you know uh, many times you know when you start your practice you see that you know patients are more educated uh, about their own treatment modalities and if you simply listen to their stories you know and see all their prescription it is a learning experience because if somebody is asthmatic uh, for 10 years he or she is you know more practical experience or you know knowledge about this disease entity than if somebody you know who is in practice for one year two year or three years because you will see asthma patient as part of your overall practice but the patient is very very concerned about his or her health and they will be knowing each and everything about the you know management and such things and if you listen to those patients it is a you know very very good uh, uh, learning process so always listen to patients and all patients have stories of self management there is stories of acute exacerbation there is stories of hospitalizations the stories of you know emergency situations at home and how they were managed and you can you know gradually pick up those things and you know in terms of practicality of management of disease you can gradually learn those you know things uh, and, and include in your own practice and you know use it for future advice uh, for other patients so uh, one of the rules of you know family physicians or any care provider is to teach patients self management because uh, when we are talking about managing any disease in community community is not just your clinic but also the home of the patient school of the patient office of the patients and majority of the pay time patients you know symptoms can occur anytime anywhere so it is important that there is no what exactly is happening inside their bodies and how they can manage such episodes by themselves how they can adjust doses how they can you know seek uh, appropriate medical attention uh, you know and how to arrange you know uh, emergency uh, uh, you know kind of situation suppose you know uh, something happens to a child at a school and the school knows about you know how to manage emergency when to take patient to hospital when to you know send back the patient or the child to home or uh, you know what kind of treatment can be given in the school clinic or by the many times most schools will have some nurse or medical examination room in the school premises itself what emergency or first aid can be given in the school itself these all things are very very important and what medications uh, you know children or people need to carry with themselves is important and uh, you know self reporting of symptoms uh, self managing uh, uh, is very very important in such long term conditions so uh, what is recommended in this paper you know malaysian family physicians is that you know uh, self monitoring of symptom and reporting a written assessment action, action asthma action plan and this has to be given to the patients and uh, you know uh, i'll talk about this uh, tool these are practice tools which are you know, standardized and they can give it to patients educate them and they can have a uh, written asthma action plan or management plan uh, self uh, adjustment of medications which can be done according to that and a regular review of medical you know uh, situation is required by healthcare provider uh, it says that you know home nebulizer should be avoided as it leads to underestimation of severity of acute aggravation of asthma but given the situation of pandemic that we are living in now <coughs> uh, i have seen mostly patients you know because we live in families we have elderly children uh, you know i can say that you know almost 30 to 50% of the families in urban areas will have a nebulizer at their home or they can arrange from there they are happy to keep it so uh, there is no harm in 
uh, you know, if it is a long term situation and many times emergencies may happen at home also. So in my understanding, it is uh, better to advise patients to keep a uh, stabilizer at home also. Though, from the you know, scientific literature, it says that you know, it's, uh, it should be avoided at home. But mostly, patients over a period of time would learn uh, to adjust their medications and they know when to report to their physicians or go to a hospital.